Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Bertemu kembali kita dalam bahagian yang keenam dan bahagian terakhir Perbincangan kita berkaitan dengan Tamarun Islam Dan masih lagi kita membincangkan tentang semangat Islam terhadap peradaban dunia dan uh, pada bahagian yang kelima yang lepas ya, kita telah berkongsi sebuah sedikit ya, antara sumbangan-sumbangan yang uh, disebut ya, satu persatu antaranya yang berkaitan dengan uh, sains dan teknologi dan uh, saya rasa agak teruja apabila uh, sumbangan ya, Islam ini yang satu ketiga itu hampir dilupakan ya, apabila tamadun Islam itu dilupakan ya, dan di, di, dikatakan renaisson atau zaman kebangkitan di barat itu adalah hasil daripada Greek ya bukannya di Bukit Tamarun Islam ya, tapi akhirnya uh, fakta ataupun uh, uh, kisah sejarah tersebut akhirnya dibuka semula ya. dan saya juga amat teruja apabila melihat ya, ada ya, filem-filem di Hollywood ya, mula ya, mengetengahkan ya, uh, sumbangan dan juga uh, peranan Tamarun Islam ya, terhadap Tamarun dunia itu dan kita, saya akan kongsikan video ini dan saya ingat uh, tidak ada banyak yang perlu saya perkatakan saya serahkan kepada saudara dan saudari untuk membuat penilaian terhadap video ini dan untuk mengkaji lebih lanjut ya, apa yang di, uh, dilihat dan ditentun dalam video ini so selamat menonton ya. uh, kita akan tentukan video ini yang berdurasi antara uh, sebelah, uh, 10 hingga 11 minit ya. <coughs> Someone's been filling your head with the usual nonsense, eh? A thousand wasted years. A black hole in history, am I right? Um, yes, yeah, sort of. You see, it's always the same. You assume it was all mud, disease, death and destruction, with marauding mobs of barbarians ripping down the good of former civilizations. Burning and plundering as they went, nothing of any worth invented either, eh? It's probably not worth it. Everyone knows that the Greeks and Romans invented everything anyway. Oh, did they now? And you're sure about that, are you? You know, I might just have something for you. You seem to be on the task. I suppose I could... Follow me. Just a book for you. Excuse me, where are we going? From darkness into light, my young friend. From 
ocean onto land, there are things you should know. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Now, I know I left it around here somewhere. Ah! Here it is. Now, take a look. If you dare. it's all a matter of perspective my soon to be illuminated friend. Of course there are parts of the world that weren't dark at all but in a civilization that stretched from Spain to China the golden rays of discovery and invention shone over everything. What civilization? The Muslim civilization my young friend. Through scholars and scientists of various faiths some of the most important discoveries known to man were made at this time discoveries that drew on knowledge of the ancients but have more connections with your modern world than you could possibly ever imagine. Like what? Well, <laughs> all sorts of things. I've got to get a picture of this. I knew it was a good idea. Who are you? Allow me to introduce Ibn al Haytham, a great scientist whose ideas led to the invention of the camera. You invented the camera. I laid the foundations for modern cameras by explaining how our eyes work. I found a way of projecting an image onto another surface through a small hole in a dark room, later called Camera Obscura. Think of all the things that evolved from this discovery. Cameras, cinema, all share the same principle. Cool. Look up below! Who's that? That's my good friend, Abbas ibn Farnas, who gazed up to the heavens, passionate in his belief that man could fly. Cool. Indeed, he dared to dream about flying a thousand years before the Wright brothers. You know you all take your jet-setting holidays for granted, so it only seems fair to remember Abbas Ibn Farnas. Stand by. I'm ready for takeoff. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. You did forget one thing, though. The tail, useful for them. Did someone call? Ah, my old friend, why don't you introduce yourself to my young guests? I am Abu Qasim al-Zahrawi. Many call me the father of surgery. Did you actually do surgery back then? Of course we did. In fact, many of the surgical tools that I invented are still used in your modern hospitals. Excuse me, a patient needs my attention. Scalpel! I think I may need some stitches. In that case, I use cat gut. Cat gut? From the gut of animals. Perfect for stitching up internal wounds. Your surgeons are still using it today. Sorry, mustache. Who's she? That's Mariam al Astrolabi. One of the many brilliant women at the time, she made sophisticated astrolabes. Astro what? Astrolabes. They show the sky and the stars on a small flat page you can hold in your hand. Think of them as ancient.
calculating or timekeeping devices. Today you have your watch, your compass, satellite navigation, helping people and explorers travel the world. Science is brilliant. All these things were developed during the golden ages. That's just the tip of the iceberg. There were thousands of other inventions covering all areas of life, and in the years that followed, their influence spread across the whole of medieval Europe. So you see, it wasn't so dark after all. What about you? Me? What did you invent? Well, I don't want to be repetitive, but I made some groundbreaking advances in engineering. I suppose my most significant discovery converted rotary motion into linear motion using a crank and connecting rod. It's essential in pumps and engines. In fact, I have no idea how the industrial revolution could have happened hundreds of years later without such a device. Well, I have a get the credit on it, sir. But my crowning glory was my amazing time-telling machine. It's a clock. Yes. Dozens of components collected from different cultures around the world. Indian, Greek, Arabian, Egyptian, Chinese. Wow. A United Nations clock. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Does it actually tell the time? Well, yes, of course. If it wasn't for me, thousands of people would be late for everything. Speaking of time, we'd better get you back. And remember, spread the word. This is a golden age. And I've only shown you a tiny part of this wondrous time. There are countless other scientists and inventions directly connected to your modern world. You're just going to have to find out for yourselves. You're right. Itulah ya, uh, saya mohon maaf uh, di atas kualiti uh, uh, video yang agak uh, kurang dan uh, saya harap sekurang-kurangnya uh, saudara-saudari dapat sedikit idea ya dan juga uh, bagaimana untuk saudara-saudari mencari bahan selanjutnya dan saya yakin uh, banyak sumber-sumber uh, di luar yang boleh dicari untuk kita mengenali dengan lebih dekat ya, sumbangan Islam terhadap peradaban uh, dunia jadi uh, saya ucapkan terima kasih sekali lagi kepada semua yang telah menonton ke semua enam siri ya, dalam uh, perbincangan kita berkaitan dengan tamadun Islam dan uh, saya yakin perbincangan yang ringkas ini dapat memberi manfaat yang banyak kepada kita semua dan uh, apa juga ke kesilapan-kesilapan yang berlaku saya mohon maaf dan uh, saya hanya berharap ya uh, saudara-saudara saya terus uh, uh, meneroka lebih lanjut ya, mencari lebih banyak bahan-bahan untuk memahami dengan lebih dekat apa yang dikatakan tambah Islam ya. yang pastinya ialah um, uh, kita boleh uh, berbangga bahawasanya uh, apa yang ada di hadapan kita pada hari ini kebanyakannya adalah sumbangan uh, daripada tamadun-tamadun dunia dan salah satunya adalah tamadun Islam sekian uh, Assalamualaikum dan uh, salam sejahtera <coughs>